Here at Purity Salinity Gases, we pride ourselves on being the experts in the welding industry. We work closely with our customers to understand their pain points and then provide the very best solution. This is precisely why we were intrigued with a new Freedom Drive product recently developed by Abcor Benzel. The Freedom Drive is an innovative solution to some common issues that revolve around aluminum welding. Let's hear what the experts at Benzel have to say about it. So I'm James Stanley and I work in the product department with Abcor Benzel. I'm Phil Montes, District Sales Manager for the Michigan, Northern Indiana regions for Apicor Benzel. And uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about the Freedom Drive. Drive motor here uh, and an intermediate cable assembly. Uh, we have cables that are 15 feet at the rear and also 25 uh, feet at the rear. And then you have at the front uh, approximately a 6 foot cable. Overall cable lengths that we can offer on these push-pull torches are the 20 foot and 30 foot options with a combination of a Benzel Euro uh, Lincoln and Miller connections. So the main benefit with this particular product, again, it's called Freedom Drive. Um, what we want to offer the, the welder over a traditional push pool or even a spool gun where it's big, bulky, and heavy at the front end uh, is this nice lightweight front end. Uh, this is developed with our lightweight cable technology that's also available in normal MIG guns. Um, savings of up to 50% of the normal weight of a cable. Uh, we do have a wire feed speed control on the front of the gun for the Lincoln and the Miller versions and that's adjusting your parameters um, back at the welding machine as you can see here. With this also being one of our standard offerings for our standard MIG guns, you also have the flexibility with the uh, Freedom Drive push pull towards to adjust and rotate the neck. What you do is you pull this up and you can rotate it in any position you would like. If a welder prefers to weld in this type of position, they have the capability of welding We also do have various neck, uh, neck length options too. So we do have different degree bends from 60, 45, and then the extended neck up to about 20 inches roughly. Also, as we look closer at the drive module, you have here on the side a screw which opens up your drive rolls, which is underneath this plastic cover to protect it. You run your wire through and then you close this back down and it puts the proper tension, automatically adjusts tension on the wire. Uh, we have a wire inch button located here. It's also connected to the trigger circuit. So no matter which one you push, you can feed the wire through the torch. Especially if you're changing out wire spools, it actually makes it a little easier to feed the, start feeding the wire through and then connect the torch on a first time setup. And then back here, we have a range selector switch with three dashes. One, two, and three. And this is a high, medium, low setting on your wire feed speed control. So it gives you a much finer range. adjustment at range of the handle. Here on the side of the, the Freedom Drive module, we have these D rings uh, front and back. And what these can be used for is if you're welding up in the air, for instance, you can connect to this D ring with a carabiner, and then your drive is positioned for you to be working up in elevated positions. Conversely, if you're up in the air and you're working down low, you can connect to the rearward. And then if you want to support it, say, at a bench level, you can connect, you can connect to both. And we actually have some customers who have like a one inch rod underneath a very, very long bench. Um, and then they would connect both of these to that rod and move the gun back and forth like it's on a shower curtain. Three modular components. You can replace just the front lead, um, you can go deeper level repair and replace just say the cable if the cable gets cut. Uh, quickest way to get back into operation would be to have a spare on a shelf, exchange this out. Um, then the next level would be if something would ever happen to the Freedom Drive module. Once again, just like at the, at the front, you have a disconnection point here. And this disconnection point basically has a steel alignment pin to provide a good alignment between all these other um, components. So you have your gas, your electrical connection, and then for the water cool, this happens to be air cooled, but you have these ports that are currently closed would be water ports. So what types of customers have you seen have like really good success with this so far? They're just super excited to get it. 
Um, most of them have been mostly like people doing, you know, some commercial work, uh, especially lately in the RV market. It has been a um, a um, kind of a, a big buzz. Uh, but you know, like I said, per customer, it varies based on the individual shop and how the individuals use it. So mainly anyone doing aluminum uh, that are you know tired of the traditional push pull guns with the motor sitting up front. The idea of having a standard big gun handle has been kind of the uh, exciting part, not having to do with all the weight up front. Sounds pretty great, right? We thought so too. But new products often do look good in a controlled lab environment. So we wanted to take this a step further and bring the Freedom Drive to the real world. We set off in search of our hardest working customers working with aluminum. Our quest led us down the street to the city of Hudsonville. I feel like the whip would probably get beat up less because when I turn the corner here to weld the top side, I generally have to flick it up onto the table and walk around with it, you know. I just I just don't see this getting as beat up as the other whip, really. I feel like I could weld twice as long and sweat half as much. The ergonomics, which, yeah, yeah we all yeah. probably like. Yeah. That's patented coal by you. Yeah, there you go. You like that? Maybe somebody. Not only that, but like when we do like our trailers and stuff, and you're overhead welding, you know, you'll weld and then you'll stand there for a second, and then you'll weld again. You know, I feel like I could go one-handed all day right now. That's the first thing I always hear. Yeah. 